Is it Mesmo you pronounce it? You're on. You're on, you're on. Peace and blessings, sis. What's your name? Daughter Tafara. Daughter Tafara? Okay. Yes. I just came into this incense and oil spot, and you had some very interesting information about patchouli. So I was just hoping you could give us a quick rundown on the properties of patchouli and the effects on men and women, and, you know, should we use it? And it also means graveyard ash, from what I've been told. Yes. Yes, so tell me about patchouli, please. Uh, my acknowledgement of the patchouli is that there are different enhancements. I've been told many, many years ago that the men who used to be the men of war, mm -hmm. when they come up from sailing so long and they go to have a little party outside of the area, they would find the patchouli bush and dab themselves with it. So when they did that, automatically and they go off to have fun it was an enhancement that women couldn't resist but then when you reverse it when the females wear it it is twice as potent and the chemistry is to a height a different leverage so I would say to use the patchouli because of you know different natural meditations and of course if you're into aphrodisia which we all are People of color, we have a high chemistry. So I'll advise anyone to do just that. Go get yourself a bottle of patchouli, Indian patchouli. Okay, so men can wear patchouli just as well as women, huh? Yes, they can. Okay. Chemistry is powerful. Interesting. And and can you share a little information while we're on the subject? Can you talk about Majmua oil? The you Majmua, know any of them? Yeah. As far as I know, mm -hmm. that is also a woodsy and very ancient scent. Mm -hmm. With the both of them together, what can you expect? Mm. It's powerful also. Grounded. Keeps you grounded. Keeps, Keeps you grounded? grounded. Yes. Yeah, because the word Majmua is related to an Arabic word, Jama'a, which basically means gathering. See? So I'm, I'm going to assume Majmua has something to do with the gathering. I don't know if it's a gathering of a spiritual nature or material. It should be. It can be material has to be spiritual. Okay. Because, you know, if, at, if we're dealing with this right now together at this time, mm -hmm. we're not dealing materialistically. Okay. We're dealing spiritually. And when I say grounded, I mean spiritually and fully grounded. Okay. Good. These are very hard times for a lot of people. What would you say a lot of people have financial concerns? Are there any scents, oils, or incense that would attract some more financial blessings to someone's life? Nothing can attract that. Mm -hmm. That's a spiritual encounter of your own. Mm -hmm. It's prayers, it's acknowledgement of who you are and what your needs are. Okay. Because to differentiate the needs and the wants, you'd be surprised to know what you could get out of both of them. Okay. Every oil keeps you grounded, every incense keeps you grounded. Okay. And within that, you have to desire what you desire to get what you put in out of everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's that's peace. That's peace. So I know a lot of people are gonna wanna indulge in your wisdom a little further. You have some kind of way, like maybe an email address that the people could contact you if you choose to be contacted. Well, but people are gonna be consulting you after they see your video on YouTube. I do not have such an you know important factor. But what can I tell them? Just keep strong. Keep the faith. Do you. Be you. That's the way to do it. All right, so that's daughter Tafara. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah, how I spell that? D-A-W-T-A? D-A-U-G-H-T-E-R. You could put it D-A-T-A-F-A-R-I. All right, daughter Tafara. Right. Daughter Fun. Bless up, Queen, all right? Yes, indeed. All right, Same thanks for the wisdom. Not to worry. Peace and blessings. Same.